everyone. This is Nicole from BoobTubeNursingCover.com and GetABoobTube.com. Today I wanted to address a question I've been getting a lot lately and that's how do you feed your baby, uh, uh, your bigger baby in the BoobTube Nursing Cover? Uh, it's actually a lot easier, um, number one, because they know what they're doing. They know how to nurse, they're better at latching on, so they're more comfortable with nursing in general, so it's just easier all around. Um, it's also easier because my babies get really distracted when they get about four to five months old and they want to look at everything. And if there's a single noise or if another sibling's, you know, running around, they pop off and want to look at what's going on and then they want to come back to nursing. And so it kind of helps them when you use the boob tube, it helps them um, stay focused and get done a little quicker. Um, I have Miss Reagan here today. She's almost six months and she's going to help us show you how to nurse a little bit bigger baby. Now, one thing you're going to hear me um, saying over and over again is make sure you keep your hand between um, the elastic part of the boob tube on the bottom, this part, and your baby's body. You never, ever, ever want to rest that elastic on your baby's body just for safety reasons. So just be smart about it. Okay, so when you're nursing a bigger baby, let me push this down a little bit. Um, you're going to pop your baby underneath the same way you would if they were little. Reagan. Just right over the top. Now what I like to do is I hook the bottom of the boob tube right there on my thumb and then it's not going to rest on the baby's body and then I have complete control. I can pull it in and out, do whatever I need to. Now with bigger babies, you can go ahead and leave those kicking little wiggly feet right out. You can see how wiggly she is right now, just kicking around. So she can just do her thing, wiggle around and she's still covered. I'm still covered. So it works out really well. I'm gonna go ahead and get her started. So I pop my arm in there. Pop my arm in there. She's excited. <laughs> get her latched on and doing her thing. And then I just pull it back down, just like I did before, and we're good to go. And you can see, you know, her legs are out. I can hold on to her bum. My hand is still holding that elastic part with my thumb, but I can still use that hand to hold on to her bum and I can go about my business, do my thing. So nursing bigger babies really is super easy in the boob tube. Um, you can see her pushing her hands up, trying to be wiggly and grabbing things, but I'm still covered and she's kicking around being wiggly and I'm good to go. So um, I really think for those of you who maybe struggled at the beginning with using your boob tube, a lot of times that's just because babies in general struggle in the beginning with learning how to nurse and staying latched on and things like that. So practice with your boob tube, keep trying. Um, it really is easier with bigger babies and um, it certainly makes going out and about a lot easier, a lot more fun, a lot more convenient. So um, if you have any more questions, please email me at getaboobtube at gmail.com and we'll try to address those through future videos. Um, or you can send me a combo on my Etsy shop. Um, again, the Etsy shop is getaboobtube.com and our blog is boobtubenursingcover.com. Thanks for watching you guys and have a great day.